Hi, I'm Dr. Williams with Pyramid Veterinary Hospital, and this month's question was submitted by Nick from Reno. He asked, what's better, a microchip or dog tags to identify his dog in case it ever gets lost? The answer are both are great. A microchip does have the advantage that you can't lose it. It's injected into your dog's skin. If their collar falls off or they get, they get, they're, get away without their collar, they still have a microchip. The nice thing about town tags though is if your neighbor finds your dog, they can call and track you down as well. So they're both a great form of identification. A microchip is injected under the skin and is very safe. They're encased with the same glass that's used around a pacemaker. They'll last your dog's entire life. When a scanner is passed over the dog's chip, right over the shoulders, a number comes up. That number can be traced back to your dog by calling the company and they will give the information to us to find you or other people you have written down as contacts in case you're not available. The scanners are variable, but one looks like this. Who has these scanners? Veterinarians have them, emergency clinics have them, animal control has them, humane shelters have them. So if your dog gets lost, odds are they're going to end up either in a veterinary hospital for somebody looking for a microchip, or they're going to end up at a humane shelter. And the first thing that anybody does when they get a lost dog nowadays is look for that microchip. That microchip is easily traced back to you and makes finding you and putting you back together with your dog very easy. The microchip looks like this. They're obviously not that big. These are cases. The microchip's actually very small, about the size of a piece of rice. It's injected into your dog, similar to any vaccine you've ever seen your dog get. This is one that's set up by home again. It's inside the syringe already, and you just inject it under the skin, and off we go. Thank you, Nick, for your question. If you have more questions, please submit them at pbhcares.com. We'll see you again next month.